Hey everybody, Tom Barnes. Stories from the 78 up in Evanston at Double Clutch Brewing Company. This place, I gotta tell you, has gotta be one of the most unique breweries here in Chicago, if not like the Midwest or even the country. I say that because they have a multi-million dollar car collection inside with the great beer, with the great food and the whole thing. Such a big collection that they interchange the cars out from time to time throughout the year. They have events here, the whole thing. I'm gonna to talk to Scott now for this story from the 78 to get the scoop here at Double Clutch. No detail left uncovered. Look at those tappers right there. And I'm with my friend, Scott. How you doing, Scott? Good, Tom, how are you? Awesome, man. So you're the brewmaster here at Double Clutch in Evanston. What are people in for when they come to this brewery? I feel like it's one of the more unique breweries in like the United States. I think it is. We've got about 13,000 square feet. We, it's made out of passion for German beer and cars and motorcycles. And so when you come, you get to see cars on display. The uh, owner family of this building has about 100 cars in their collection that we rotate through. So seasonally or ho for holidays, mm -hmm. we'll do different exhibits. And uh, I just think it's a wonderful space. We have live music and plenty of entertainment and space for parties. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty different as far as breweries go. Right, yeah, a lot happening in that space, massive space in the back there with the cars. And you guys, it's not the same cars when people come here, that you guys interchange them. You have a whole like warehouse of cars where you get to pick from. Right, so for St. Paddy's Day, we actually had to scramble because there aren't many cars made in Ireland, but we found one, <laughs> the DeLorean. B1? Is it really? The DeLorean was actually manufactured in Ireland. So, I did not know that. So yeah, it's a small little trivial fact that uh, we are only the passionate know. So that's what I think makes this unique is just our passion for cars and beers and uh, I hope it shows through. So. Yeah, I mean, the passion showing through for sure, just on the tappers alone. The, um, they are very thematic and with the whole theme and just yeah. the decor in this space. It's a cool space. You got parking, which is always a big thing. Lots of fun. And then the beer. You mentioned the beer, but we haven't even talked about the food yet. You guys got food, beer, the whole thing. So walk me through what you have here. Yeah. So uh, one of the things and, and what I've done is, is brought four beers out with four dishes. So we've got the pierogies. We've got three different types of pierogi. And in my mind, it's a very European dish that pairs so well with our German Pilsner. Now, obviously there's an American Pilsner and of course there's a Czech Pilsner. Mm -hmm. I prefer the German Pilsner. So it uses the German noble hops, Hersbrucker and Saas, and has a, has a lighter body than the Czech Pilsner mm -hmm. and a higher effervescent uh, carbonation. And the two just pair so well. It's Absolutely. a classic European pairing. Next, we have the uh, pretzels, the Munich style pretzels that, of course, pair with Can't our go wrong award with winning beer, right? I'm sorry. Can't go wrong with a little beer at that, right? You know what? It has just the right amount of salt on it to yeah. make you thirsty and nothing washes it down better than an award winning wow. Munich style Helles Lager. This yeah. is our Great American Beer Festival 2022 silver medal winner mm -hmm. in that category wow. against 158 breweries. So I'm quite proud of that. Absolutely. And then uh, Moving on up front, we've got the double clutch cheeseburger. It's a double patty with caramelized uh, onions. And I think it pairs really well with our, our alt beer. The alt beer has a slight hint of that caramel, uh, roast, uh, caramel toasted malt mm -hmm. that this style comes from Dusseldorf and uh, pairs really well with any time there's any caramel, that Maillard effect, that browning of the sugars and it just pairs really well with our cheeseburger. And then the last but not least, and this is just a sample of them. This is not everything you guys got on the menu. Oh yeah, this is the tip of the iceberg. And so the last dish we're showing here is the brisket sandwich. And so it's a smoked brisket sandwich. And Chef Pat here used French onion soup as the <laughs> inspiration. So it's got that caramelized onion something. again. Look at that. But bacon and the, and the melted cheese and I've paired it with one of my true favorites, and it is the double award-winning Helles Rauch beer. So Helles means light in color, not diet, and Rauch means smoke. This style comes from Bomberg. I discovered it at a small brewery in Bomberg, Germany called Special, and it just blew my mind. It took me a year of working on this recipe to get it to where I wanted it to be. And uh, as a home brewer, I won a gold medal in a big competition. And as a pro brewer, I've won two silver medals at the Great American Beer Festival. So quite proud of that. It's a beer that 
I'm really passionate about. Well, your passion comes through just in, in talking to you. You said it took you a year to perfect a recipe. To perfect it, not to come up with it, but to perfect it. Exactly. Which says a lot about the process of what you guys do here as far as the beer is concerned, which I'm sure spills over to the food, no pun intended, of and the matching of the food and the German influence. It's all right here. It's wonderful. Yeah, it's, it, it, we just, we figured, so Mike Chkazian and I were the ones that came up with this concept. We just figured if we just did the things that we're passionate about, it would be infectious and people could find pleasure in it as well. And uh, I hope that's true. We certainly enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And, you know, for people who want to come by and see the cars, they can come by and see the cars whenever you guys are open, right? We are open seven days a week. We open at noon every day and 11 on, on Saturday and Sundays for brunch. And so we have a separate brunch menu that is delicious. Mm -hmm. And because we have a kitchen in Illinois law, we can serve wine and spirits. So you can come in and have a mimosa or a Bloody Mary, which is nice. Yeah. Or of course, some delicious beer. Right, and all splashed with these beautiful cars they have throughout, the great music, in the great spot right here in Evanston. Exactly. And we, you know, one of our pet peeves when we designed this space was that when you go to a brew pubs mostly or breweries, you don't really see the equipment. Nope, and yeah, you we see wanted to make sure that you felt as though you were in the brewery, yep. not in the tap room of a brewery. So uh, you'll find the tanks are incorporated into the space throughout. Yeah, and I will say, even when there's no band here, the music that you guys play is phenomenal. <laughs> right up my alley. I love it. So Well, perfect. Yeah, all good things. And, Happy coincidence. Yeah, and uh, very well a, a space to hang out for an afternoon. So, uh, cool. Scott, thank you very much for taking time to chat with me today. Yeah, my pleasure, Tom. Thanks for coming in. Absolutely. we got to dig into this now. Next. <laughs> All right, that is the story from Double Clutch Brewing here in Evanston, Tom Barnes, Chicago at gmail.com. If you have any story from the 78 or head over to the website, storiesfromthe78.com. We'll see you guys later. Thanks.